Welcome to the last part of our tutorial here on mitosis where we will be covering the basics of telophase and cytokinesis. So as we can see up here on the screen, our cell still has an elaborate mitotic spindle that has been dragging our two identical sets of DNA towards opposite poles of the cell, while the polar microtubules continue to elongate the cell. And the way we can distinguish telophase from anaphase is that our telophase step commences once the chromosomes have completely stopped moving and are each at their respective ends of the cell. So telophase begins as chromosomes cease to move. Now we're about to see something that we haven't seen so far in mitosis, so take a look at this. Our cell has elongated so much now that it's taken on an almost figure eight type of shape with it pinching off toward the middle. And what's going to happen from here is our chromosomes that were tightly condensed as they were being pulled towards opposite ends of the cell are going to begin to unravel again. And they're going to begin to unravel or uncoil so that they can become active. So they'll resume being active and able to uh, be used for transcription within that new cell. So we can see our chromosomes have unraveled but we're also going to begin to reform our nuclear envelope and our nucleoli will reappear as well. Our nucleoli being the structure that we use for ribosome synthesis. So you can almost think of telophase as the reverse of prophase, what we were having happen before metaphase. So in prophase, our nuclear envelope was disappearing along with our nucleoli and our chromosomes were condensing. But in telophase, the exact opposite of this is happening. And the same thing goes with our mitotic spindle. Our mitotic spindle is going to disappear. And as our mitotic spindle disappears, the single copies of the centrosomes that we have in each cell now will begin to produce new microtubules as I'm drawing now. And they're going to be part of our cytoskeletal framework of the new cells. And for a brief moment, before our cells completely split apart, we have a binucleate cell, so a cell with two nuclei, so one and two. And that's going to complete our telophase and mitosis. So at this point, mitosis has finished. But you might be thinking right now, if mitosis has finished, why don't we just include cytokinesis in one of the four previous steps if all it's doing is splitting the cell apart? Well, that's because in this cytokinesis step, it's not really just going to be occurring in one of those four phases. Cytokinesis starts around the anaphase or the third step in mitosis but it's going to continue all the way through anaphase, telophase, and past the end of telophase. So we split it into its own kind of little group. And cytokinesis simply refers to the cell being split apart. So it has its own set of activities that are going on. And they all focus around the center of the cell. So we'll write that down. Since anaphase, Filaments have begun to constrict our cell at the center, and that's exactly what is happening. So we'll have our myosin, we'll have our non-muscle myosin, and also actin, forming a framework around the center of the cell, which we're going to call the contractile ring. So let's finish writing that down and draw that up inside the cell. So we're going to have this filament framework that's forming all the way around our cell, and it's going to slowly constrict our cell. And as it constricts the cell, it's going to pinch it closer together at the midline. So we have this contractile ring of microfilaments, so myosin and actin, and we call the cleavage point or the pinching point the cleavage furrow. So where you can see this uh, indent being formed, we refer to that as the cleavage furrow. 
And if this has been happening since early anaphase and it continues to constrict and constrict and constrict, eventually we're going to have this happen. Our cell will completely split in two down the middle and we'll have a plasma membrane for each cell and mitosis now, or the mitotic phase, is fully complete and we have two new daughter cells, each with identical DNA. So there we have it. Cytokinesis has finished now, bringing about the end of the mitotic phase of the cell cycle. So let's remember the key points we've covered over the last few videos. In mitosis, each daughter cell will have identical DNA to the mother cell, and mitosis itself consists of prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. Four steps, with cytokinesis being something else entirely that's happening uh, halfway through that cycle and completing after mitosis has ended. You are now officially an expert on mitosis and I hope this video has made things a little bit clearer for you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.